Okay, so we have a, a longtime client of mine here, Barry, and he's been a member of American Ballet Theater here in New York City. Okay, and how about if you touch your toes with both hands? Now, what number is that? Nine. Ooh. Uh, got it. Mmm. What did you feel? Oh, I felt my lower back too. Yeah? Yeah, wow. And he's been a member of American Ballet Theater here in New York City for... For nine years. Nine years, yeah. And I've known you for a long time though, right? Yeah. Yeah. Um, I've worked a lot with American Ballet Theater over the last 20 years. Uh, dancers will come in and out. Uh, sometimes I don't see any for a while and then sometimes two or three people come in a week. Mm -hmm. You were supposed to come in tomorrow, but you tomorrow. arrived a day yeah, early. I thought today was Wednesday. <laughs> so you came in a day early. Yeah. So since I have this lower back pain, I cannot really like sitting down mm -hmm. on the floor with stretched leg. Fine, I can do oh, this. Oh, so you, when you do your right foot, you feel it on the left, left side. Left side, yeah. Okay, and so it's kind of spine-ish. Okay. Yeah. So when he tractions up or dorsiflex the right foot, he feels pain in the lower left lumbars. Mm -hmm. When you pull up this foot, do you get pain on the other side no, or anywhere? No, this side. It's fine. just the opposite side. Yeah. So that's atypical. We typically will see it on the same side because that'll indicate that we're we're um, really pulling hard on the sciatic nerve, and that's what he's feeling. Uh, it exacerbates the disc. Um, he might have a bad disc. Um, you're getting an MRI when? Um, maybe in this week, Sunday. Yeah. yeah, so his uh, team physicians and physical therapy team at, at his dance company uh, want you to, to get more information, yeah. which is a great idea. We just got one of these machines in recently, um, and it's called the DRX 9000, and it's a non-surgical FDA-approved machine to uh, take a bulging disc and unbulge it, or a herniated disc and unherniate it. It has a 93% success rate for people to be able to avoid surgery. So you have some options. If they decide, hey, let's inject it and do an epidural to bring down the inflammation. I have had that done to my lower back and my neck and it helped me a lot. I think that's probably a good choice. Mm -hmm. um, but if they said, you know, if it doesn't get better, you might need surgery, mm -hmm. you could opt for that, but you could also say, let me do 20 sessions on this yeah. and see if we can unherniate the disc, mm -hmm. if it's that bad. Mm -hmm. uh, today, we're gonna see if we can see a change in your symptoms. Mm -hmm. um, and we know that the symptom is that, here, can you, you're a little curled forward, so sit up as tall as you can. Mm -hmm. And does that feel bad too, when you pull up this? Does that add to it? When I really like stretch it out, yeah. it gets better. Okay, because you're bit. tractioning it. Yeah, but but it's very hard now. And then, which is the position that hurts the most? This position. Okay. Oh, here. here. When you collapse. Yeah. And then pull the foot up. And yeah. you feel it right now. Yeah. On a scale of one to ten, what number would we call that right now? Like six. Six. Okay. Can you make it a seven, an eight, or a nine? By doing something different. Yeah. When I go more forward this way. What number is that? like eight, nine. Okay, yeah. and how about if you touch your toes with both hands? Now what number is that? Nine. Nine, okay, so at least we know where, yeah. where it is, right? Yeah. So let's get started. So I'm gonna tie this around your ankles, okay? Yeah. And um, don't adjust your body, so when this starts to pull, just hold this part down, okay? Mm -hmm. Just till we get the pull done. So the first thing we're going to do is um, dis distract you or pull this apart. And I'm warming up the table and then we're going to do that first. So it's called distract. And here we go. So I'm going to pull, pull this apart. You feel the stretch? Mm -hmm. And you could see right in here we just created a gap in here. So we're pulling this apart. Now we're going to add some other stuff. Um, I'm changing the pressure. And here, if you come around this way, you could see this, this whole monitor here. So I'm going to, it's been on distraction. And now I'm going to change it to flexion and change the pounds per square inch. And I want to get it over about 80 right now to start. Then I'm going to take this T-bar 
and put it in here because I'm going to control the table with my hand. And so now I release the lock on the flexion and it's pretty strong, so let's take it down a little bit. So I'm going to try to open these discs up, okay? Actually, before we do that, let's do this. I'm going to move this down an inch. Is that okay? Mm -hmm. May I do that? Okay. So here's your fifth lumbar, and I'm going to push into the spinous, and turn your face to the right so we can hear you talk, okay? Mm -hmm. Which one hurts more, that one or this one? Or this one? So this is number three, mm -hmm. number four, mm -hmm. and number five. Five, I guess. Yeah, I think it's five, okay. So we're going to track five, you. four, yeah. Four and five, okay. So you have L4, L5. That's a poor man's MRI, <laughs> meaning without paying any money, we just zeroed in on L4, L5. And does this feel okay or is it too strong? Uh, not bad. Okay. And I'm going to traction out. And what I'm doing is I'm holding the L4 spinous with my, my pad of my thumb, the Thenar pad and I'm pulling the table away from that, creating space. Now the table also swivels. Tell me if you like this swivel, okay? So here I'm swinging the table to the left, and the table groans. Sorry about that, it's an older table now. That's not, that's not uh, Barry groaning. <laughs> Now if I do this side, does that give you any pain or relief? Does uh, it feel good or feel bad? This side feels okay, okay. but if you go the other side, yeah. I feel like stretching on my left side. Okay, how about that? Does that feel like a good stretch? Mm -hmm. Too much or does this feel good? Yeah, it feels good. All right. So now I'm going to lock the table and lock it for lateral flexion. And we're going to keep going. Okay, there's more to do. Tell me which side you feel more when I do my elbow and the muscles. Okay, so here's the right side. Does that feel good in a painful way? Like, oh, feels good. Like kind of therapeutically hurt? Yeah. And then here's the other side. Is one side more? Oh, this side definitely feels tighter. Yeah. More hurts. Good. Now watch this, I can swing the table, so I'm gonna swing it this way and lock it again. And now go back into here. Do you feel what we did? We, yeah. We moved your legs to the right. Mm -hmm. Does this feel like it's kind of part of the bad spot? Yeah. We're in it, right? Yeah. So now I'm in L5, L4, I'm trying to take pressure off these discs and nerve roots. I still have them in traction and laterally flexed. Do you feel that? Mm -hmm. Is it strong? No. Right. 
So I'm gonna straighten the table next, okay? Now I'm gonna close the gap and see if the, you guys can see this gap close as I retract the table. And so you'll, it takes a minute before it kicks in so it doesn't overload his disc. And then you'll start to see it um, here this way. And it'll start to close now, this space here. It doesn't close all the way because it doesn't, you don't want to pinch the male body part. And that would be not happy for the person. So big breath in and blow it out. Good. Good. Now, I'd like you to come to this table and line your back. So I'm going to do a little bit of a towel pull on your neck. Yep. Um, Dr. Gregory Johnson calls this the ring dinger, but it's been around for a hundred years. Pick up your head, and it's just a good way to get a good stretch on the on the neck, and maybe even down the back a little bit for you. So first, I'm going to pull a little bit just to, and now take a big breath in and blow it out. Mm. What did you feel? Oh, I felt my lower back too. Yeah? Yeah, wow. Is that cool? Yeah. Ooh. Got it. Perfect. <clears throat> Got it. Come down a lower on the table. Yeah. And I'm hoping when you sit on the floor again, you'll feel a little change. Lie on your side facing me. What was the first thing? Do you remember when I when you arrived, I said this might take a few treatments? Yeah. Do you remember I said yeah. that? Yeah. So I don't know if we can create a miracle in one treatment, yeah. but we want to make a good start today. Mm -hmm. Big breath in and blow it out. Got it. That's the Ooh. one. That was right in there, wasn't it? Oh, yeah. Drop your head. Big breath in. Got Ooh. It. Got that one, too. Yeah. So get, turn to your side and get up carefully, like how they teach you to get mm -hmm. up carefully. And I'd like you to walk around mm -hmm. and then come back and we'll sit on the floor. Yeah. Okay. What does it feel like now? What number? It's actually a little better. A little better? Okay. Yeah. So what number is this position? You said it was a six before. Yeah, like, like four. Four, okay. Yeah. And do you remember when you reach forward and get a nine? Is that a nine right now? Or is it a different number? It's like a, like a six. Okay, from a nine to a six. Yeah. Not bad, right? Yeah. How many weeks has this been bothering you? Three weeks. Three weeks. Yeah. How many hours a day do you train when you're in full session? How many hours? What time do you start training as a ballet dancer in the morning? 10 a.m.? Oh, 10, 10 And what time do you finish at night, typically? Seven. Yeah, how yeah. many days a week do you go from 10 a.m. to 7 p.m.? Five days. Yeah. So this is an elite level athlete. Mm -hmm. For three weeks you've been not doing well. No. And we changed it 25, 30% in one session. Yeah. I think you're going to need to come back a few times. Yeah, definitely. Get your MRI if they suggest it. Mm -hmm. Do whatever they want you to do. Mm -hmm. And if it, if it turns out it was a really bad injury, we'll know by you getting better or not. So mm -hmm. let's say you come a couple of times this week, you'll either be yeah. a lot, lot better, mm -hmm. or if it's not getting better enough, it's probably because you herniated a disc. Yeah. Yeah. And, um, and then you have options. You can do injections, you can rest, you can take time off, you can do acupuncture, massage, yeah. you can do medical, you can do surgery, you can do all sorts of things. Mm -hmm. You can also try this. Yeah. You can do a few more sessions with me. You have a lot of options. Mm -hmm. But first, you'd want to see how bad it is. Yeah. All right. So how was today? Pretty good? Pretty good. All right. Thank you so much. All right. Thank you. Thank you. I don't know if we can create a miracle in one treatment, yeah. but we want to make a good start today. Mm -hmm. Big breath in and blow it out. Got it. That's the Ooh. one.